Yo, what's up guys? Demented Monkey here, and today I'm going to be giving you some kind of tip or whatever you want to really call it on Battlefield 1. So, as you may know, Battlefield 1 is now out for anybody who pre-ordered it or has the uh, special edition. No, not the special edition. I think it's the Digital Deluxe Edition. Uh, so, whoever pre-ordered the Digital Deluxe Edition has gotten it to, uh, on the 18th. So, yeah. Battlefield 1 is now out for me because I have the Digital Deluxe Edition and I pre-ordered it so that's all good good and I'm now I'm going to be making a shit ton of Battlefield 1 videos so prepare your anuses to get absolutely smashed with Battlefield 1 content. So in today's sort of Battlefield 1 video I'm going to be explaining the different types of reticles you will find on the range scopes in Battlefield 1. Uh, these consist of I think four different types of uh, range scope uh, or not range scope but range reticle uh, it starts with the cross reticle the chevron reticle the b reticle and the post reticle now the cross reticle is kind of cool it's just a sort of standard cross that you'd find in any other battlefield game with a range scope uh, it's basically got this uh, cr cross in the middle of the scope and it has a little sort of thing i mean you'll see an image on the screen now of it the chevron reticle is obviously a arrow shaped reticle facing upwards it is uh, like a kind of good reticle if you want to do somewhat closer uh, quarters sniping but I don't really like that reticle because for some reason when I use it it kind of looks like it zooms in the reticle and I don't know it just looks a bit weird for me the next one is the B reticle uh, it is actually like a really cool reticle it's like a T shape so, like, kind of like the uh, Cobra site in Battlefield 4. Uh, yeah, it's basically a T-shape, only in this one, instead of it being, like, a, a red colour. Like, originally, it's just a black, uh, sort of beam reticle in the middle of the scope. Uh, and then you have the post reticle, which is kind of just, like, a single stick. It's kind of like the beam reticle, only it's only got the one in the middle instead of the sort of t-shape it's just like the uh, sort of the leg of the t if you want to call it that now my personal favorite to use is the beam reticle although my second favorite will probably be the cross reticle and then it'd be the post reticle and then it'd be the chevron reticle uh, the beam reticle for me just seems really easy to use uh, with the two sort of t-shaped kind of things on the sides of the one post or the one leg of the t kind of shape it really does for me somehow make it easier to aim and shoot uh, so yeah for some reason uh, I don't know it just makes it easier to shoot with, uh, for me the cross reticle uh, which is my second favorite is just sort of the standard reticle that you'd find in any other battlefield or any other game with a ranged scope pretty much and I don't know I just kind of like that uh, because it's really easy to use and it's simple I mean you can easily tell range with that one so I'm probably gonna be switching depending on what rifle I'm using uh, with the beam reticle and the cross reticle uh, the post reticle is okay I mean you can I don't know it's kind of weird how it's just the one sort of uh, post reticle like there's just the post of it <laughs> I guess but I don't know it's it's just a it's cool uh, but I'm pretty sure I'd use that more for an LMG rather than a sniper rifle and to be honest Nobody really right now has an LMG with a sniper scope on it So uh, I mean unless you've been playing this game for ages or you've you've leveled up pretty fast And you've bought an LMG with a sniper scope on it uh, Or more of a range scope not exactly a sniper scope, but you know you get the gist of it uh, And then the chevron scope reticle for some reason when I use the chevron uh, reticle It just looks a bit more zoomed in for me. I don't know whether that's just my eyes or I'm just going insane um, But yeah, I just just does doesn't really make sense uh, around that I mean it might just be the shape considering it's like really big uh, when you look down the sights I mean obviously you'll see pictures uh, that I've taken uh, from gameplay of uh, of these uh, sort of reticles but yeah I mean some of them just look really really strange and yeah so I'd recommend the beam reticle but to be honest it is personal preference so go with whatever you kind of like I'd say play with all of them for at least half an hour at least and uh, see what you sort of 
uh, think about them because obviously with my playstyle I like uh, the beam reticle and uh, so on so on. Uh, if somebody else had a different type of playstyle to me or had a different sort of eye set or whatever, they uh, might go for the chevron scope as their favourite. And it's really up to personal preference, but uh, I just prefer the beam reticle as it just uh, kind of minimalizes uh, sort of the cross reticle, but isn't too minimalized like the post reticle, where it just sort of uh, you can't really get much range out of the scope. You have to kind of rely on either the, the binoculars or the periscope or something else. So, yeah, that's basically going to be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. I've been Demanding Monkey, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!